Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section for a V-Pack. That's right, we are going to be doing Interference Fixed from Virtu Gaming. Uh, this is the second pack mark. The first is a little too laggy, so there we go. It's a early one, and uh, yeah, I want to give it a go. See how uh, the V-Packs are. It says it's bad, it's tedious, uh, but I think we can do it relatively well. Uh, have a little bit of strategy. This mission will simply begin on its own once on pause, and a minute will fall from space. And that will be your starting point. Good luck. I have uh, formulated my stratagem uh, for this map. There is a whole lot going on there. Some, The big base is over here. There's a lot of energy generation on the side. There's plenty of earned units over here. The goal is to take over the entire map. I don't want to uh, just take over, just go for a straight win. Um, but yeah, I, th I think we should be relatively okay to do that. It does have a difficulty option. That will appear a few minutes into the map. So... Yeah, we're going to be taking the harder difficulty as well. So let's see how we do and get going. So first of all, we do have some power. We have some mesh, which is always a good thing. And Bazinga, we have our first emitter. That's right. And of course, we don't have... One thing we don't have is no crimson. No crimson. Oh, man. No crimson does suck pretty hard. I am going to completely admit... I am not a fan of No Crimson, uh, but you know what? It, it is what it is. The, the, you know, it's it's the design choice of the map. So we have to we have to get our butt moving over here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get going. Uh, try and activate all of our emitters. Although this one, I don't know if that's gonna turn on too soon. So you know what? Let's uh, let's just keep pushing, right? We do have the field gen, which is always good. And try and push that to get to that emitter. Maybe maybe take out that cannon as well so we can take that out turn that emitter on it's just gonna help there we go there we go and then we can start working towards this side you know our goal is to sort of again take over the map as is tradition uh but you know we, we want to get things going we we got some extra power more juice for the boost and there we go just a couple more emissions going on that's just gonna help fill out our starting area so so far so good I think we have a nice little head start. We can definitely get this cannon down, which will free up a nice little spot, too. The more we can free, the better, of course, for us. And the more emission we can get in uh, forward operating positions, obviously, the better as well. You know, if, you, if you, your emitter is in the back, it's not doing anything for you. So, yeah, I'm feeling, feeling pretty okay about this. Again, cut this off nice and easy. Get through this. You know, Crimson would help so, so much. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Oh, what is going on right now? Things are happening. Something ha- Oh, they got- Unfortunately, there is a, a fighter pilot on us now. That is always a problem. Uh, maybe we will uh, start off with, like, a lure. You know, uh, one thing that is nice is lures will uh, attract the fighters. Now, that being said, this fighter apparently is too far away. So, shame on us, shame on us. So I want to move that. I think I want to move that like over here. I think that will help. There we go. There's a good lure doing its work. And yeah, <laughs> as we can see, we're also taking this area. Should generate us some more power as well. So feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. There's just one cannon up there. I'm not super worried. The MRF even fell. So you know what? That realistically is the end of that. So feeling pretty good so far. Uh, I think we have a nice little uh, not head start necessarily. But a good, a good starting outpost. So I'm feeling pretty good. We could probably even go straight for the win right off the bat. But again, we're not going to do that. We are going to take over the map. Uh, might take some time, but that's okay. I, I, you know, this is this is all about having fun and not rushing things. It's so easy to rush and uh, not experience what the map has to offer. Uh, and as you can see, I mean, we still have a lot left, like a whole lot left. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm definitely feeling pretty okay about that. Now, if I know Virtu, uh, there are difficulty settings, so my guess is that optional objective right there is the uh, way to determine if you're playing on hard mode or easy mode. So let's... Oh, that was right there. I didn't, I didn't even see. Let's destroy both of those. We don't need those now. And let's, again, we're just going to start the spread, of course. We don't need the field gen anymore. We don't need some of these in the back. Again, if you're in the back, you're not helping us at all. So let's uh, let's just keep the creep a coming, and yeah, that feels pretty good. I feel like we have some decent creepage going on. We have some uh, decent levels. Uh, nothing too crazy right now, but you know we don't need things to be too crazy right now because I think it's time to do a little bit of a swap. That's right. We are gonna pause because we want everything to sort of come out at once, uh, but we're gonna do 
just a bit of that, some launching. That's right, we're going to launch some blobs at some locations. Uh, first thing first, we're going to take out this MRF to get rid of that. Easy peasy. Fingers crossed, easy peasy, I guess. Uh, I do hope so. Uh, and I guess we will want maybe another lure. Now this time we are going to lure up the backside. That way when they're shooting over here, they're going to shoot down here and not impede anything we want, of course. And we're going to move our emission up forward because, again, we want the emitter up front and center. Yes, we do. Here comes our first wave of blobs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we're going to start to shift our blobitude over a wee bit. Buzzing a first base, <laughs> basically completely taken out, just like that. Feels pretty good, if you ask me. You know, uh, again, our mission is going okay. It's going okay. Uh, we are moving along, singing our song, and that can never come back. So sucks for them. Uh, we are going to lose some blobs here. That is unfortunate for us. Fingers crossed, we can get some through though. Now at the same time, it's not looking very kind for our blobs. But at the same time, they're starting to come down on energy. Maybe we can get some. I do realistically want to get my blobs moved up to, like, over here. That's more important for me. Uh, so if we take these three, how do these lines look? So one, two, and three. That looks pretty good to me. That should actually take out that over there as well. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So we can move our mission hopefully up here. Beautiful. If we take out those three, we can get up there, and it's just going to be even better for us. Uh, now, we did take out one snipe air, which is fantastic. She gets one down. Means, uh, every one down is just gonna be. Ooh, here we go. Please spare us, Creeper. Virtue has taught us how to communicate with you, and they have been forcing us to strip mine our world for green art. They are elitists. They act like we are nothing, not even a resource, just a convenience. They only care about green art, and we stand no chance in, uh, con. We know sir, in fighting them. <laughs> uh, as our world slowly fades away, I mean, just look, the entire surface is mostly just a uh, continental volcano at this point. They even disabled our Rift Lab jumping ability with their summoner, so please spare us, for we are nothing compared to you or Virtu. But we will still fight for our home, homeworld, with Virtu, if you threaten us too. Uh, warning, choosing the second option, the bottom one, will instigate a very swift increase in difficulty. If you are not prepared, it could make this mission impossible. Or if you do not want uh, Virtu to potentially mop the lava with you, do not spare them. So, uh, you are Data and so is Virtu. There is no compliance. Only if you can bring them out. And that is the second option. That is the option that we have chosen. We have chosen only if you can bring them out. So now we have Virtu on our, uh, on our backs, so to speak, right? We now have a slight increase. Well more than a slight increase in difficulty i'm sure uh so we have an increase in difficulty which is fantastic you gotta love it and there we go we are also progressing i think what i'm gonna do i am gonna shift these launchers i do want to get them into better positions so let's uh let's worry about that next so again launchers launchers are gonna do some good work for us and i don't think we even need oh geez where is it i could never find the uh all right let's let's look at from the side I'm pretty sure I put one down, right? Didn't I? Yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of that Mortar lure for now. Uh, more energy, more good. Get more creep going where we want it to go. And this should help pretty substantially. Now, over here we are in a slight bit of a panic uh, because, you know, we are going to need to spread our creep. It is taking things over, which is pretty good. Uh, and we do want a new lure, like over here. I think that's going to be a good spot for a lure. And I think I want some launchers over here again. The problem is, I did not get the creep up there. We do need to get those cannons down, unfortunately. So let's uh, make sure we have some launchers on the backside. That can hit that. So that's going to feel pretty good. These three launchers should be pretty good for us. Ooh, actually, the creep is spreading to it. So maybe we're good. Maybe... No, no. We're not gonna we're not gonna make it up top, unfortunately, unfortunately, and that's okay, that's okay. We will soon enough. I don't know how much power I have. My power indicator is gone. So does that mean I used it all up? No, we can still get it in the middle. Interesting, interesting. Uh, but thankfully for us, there we go. It is done. We destroyed the summoner uh, building. It has been the virtue linked to us. They will soon they will arrive soon enough. It was also what was jamming our jump abilities, but now that you are here, they will likely not pursue us. 
thank you. Also, good luck against them. They will be con uh, coming with great force. So Virtu is now coming for us. <coughs> uh, they have jumped away. So they have now jumped away, which is which is good. Uh, we do want them to jump away, of course. It's going to drain their energy for a little bit, allow us to get a little bit of a foothold. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, as long as that energy is gone, this should die, and then we should be in a much better spot. Uh, fingers crossed, right? Uh, that energy should be going down. We should take a little bit more, and we definitely will want, of course, more uh, launchers. Okay, come on. We can do it. Just a little bit more. Just get some more land, because we need to be spreading. We cannot allow Virtu to uh, take us over, unfortunately. Uh, oh, are those spores? Those are spores. I'm a fool. I never swapped them to blobs! Look at me. Uh, that's perfectly fine. We'll go with blobs for now. Uh, and you know what? We'll actually start blobbing over here. I'm okay with that. You know, we'll keep our uh, mission going, of course. Toss those along. Try and get a couple of these out of the way, because you know what? They're going to be a problem in the long run. And it looks like some things are teleporting in. Oh my, oh my, the danger. The danger comes! The Virtu has landed. A new uh, base has appeared. So now we're in trouble. We're in, well, kind of trouble, right? Uh, that is step one. We do have some trouble for us. So, fingers crossed, because now they have more units, more deadly units, and we are, you know, we're, we're in a bit of trouble. Bit of trouble. So, the goal now, though, is to take it to Virtu. Uh, and you know what, Virtu? I think we're going to be okay, uh, unfortunately for you. As much as you want us to uh, not be okay, I think we will manage it. We'll take a little bit of time, of course, uh, but we will get there. We will get there. Uh, and we can have all of our launchers toss them on blobs, of course. Uh, we could do uh, skimmers as well, so I'll probably do a couple on skimmers. Uh, but what we want to do is start to come in effect this area. Because we could honestly probably just blob the base and probably go straight for the base. But we want to take over the entire map. So we want to start getting some of these. So we're going to get a couple over here. We're going to toss these three to, uh, to skimmers. And we're going to have one go over here, one go over there, and one go for over there. Uh, that should be pretty good. I think that is everything, not you. Uh, so you will go for that one. Uh, actually, I should probably have you double up over here. It's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, we will uh, pass speed a little bit faster. But as you can see, look at this. Look, there are now large air forces coming for us, destroying our creep. I mean, look at over here. I mean, they've completely taken this out, right? Uh, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't care about any of this. As long as they don't, can't rebuild it, that's perfectly fine to me. Uh, as you can see, they are already uh, taking out our skimmers and things. And skimmers have done a little bit of a stun. Oh, there we go. Getting some damage in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's what we want to see. So, perfect. So, we already have the t these two snipers down. That is glorious for us, right? Uh, I think with those two down, we're going to focus all of our effort on this M-Rift. Now, this M-Rift, fortunately and unfortunately, it's an amazing M-Rift to have for the enemy, of course, uh, but at the same time, once it's down, they still will be getting energy. You know, it's not like just destroying this means they're not going to have any energy left on this island, but I mean, look at that. We basically have taken the M-Rift. Uh, just one more volley and we should be good there. Ooh, those launchers did not do too much, oddly enough. Uh, one. Let's do two and three. There we go. Did that get the M? It did not get the M-Rift yet. Oh, man. Come on, you guys. Get this M-Rift. That's all we want. We just want that. Get it down. Get it good. Oh, no, they're getting a the sniper back, too. Uh, we took too long. Maybe. Maybe this volley, though. There we go. M-Rift destroyed. That severely... Look at their energy generation. It was cut by so much. Because, you know, these towers add up. And that's just going to help. Now, again, we don't have full control over the area yet. But that is a huge, 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 huge help, right? So now what do we do? What is this doing? This is producing 50 energy. But I think that has to be connected to the network. So that doesn't matter anymore. Huzzah for us. Uh, and now we can sort of work on eliminating this side. Again, we don't have to. We could do whatever we want uh, in order to maintain, so to speak. Uh, but I want to eliminate this side, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap everything 
all of these to spores now uh, at a location. And we're actually going to go somewhere around... Over here would be good. Over here wouldn't be bad. Uh, we could go straight for, like, in their base, you know. Uh, which, honestly, wouldn't be too bad either. Uh, this is actually pretty open for us, and there really isn't too much to stop us. Of course, there are some air defenses, but nothing too terrible when you think about it. So if we do something like this, for instance... Um, one thing to note as well is there is no red on on this side any longer. Uh, this side sends... Uh, sends the uh, red on over and yeah it doesn't it doesn't get convert or there's no arg sorry there's red on but there's no arg on the side so yeah it might take a, a volley or two uh but realistically we should be able to essentially get through with our spores once a once a launch or two happens so same thing we can start working on their base which we will want to do i honestly need some more energy I and mean, that's the big thing our power kind of sucks and look they've even made a little bit back here so good on them but thankfully their airships use up a lot of ammo and they're not generating very much energy so when an airship is down it's gonna take a little bit for them to uh to restock so to speak so we do have some time did this not stick to spores everything spores why why are you still blobs spore uh everybody spore please spore why do I have to manually swap them now? I mean, what happened? Spore? Come on. Weird. Uh, you're still set to skimmers, of course. Uh, spores, 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 and spores, please. That is what we are looking for. We are not looking for skimmers. We are not looking for anything. Although you are probably going to hit the wall. So you know what? This launcher, you're just going to be destroyed. There we go. The spores are finally coming in. And look at that, they are shooting some down, but then they're out of ammo. Forever. That's right, all the ammo is gone. Not going to matter whatsoever. And they will destroy this for a little bit with their super weapons, of course, but it's not going to last very, very long. Especially when we take, say, these three, and let's say, grab that. Yeah, let's, let's get that area, too. Um, this way, we will do some serious damages. Ooh, look at this. This is basically nullified. Ooh, they've basically taken their base back. Interesting. I was not expecting this much of a pushback, but you know what, I don't really care about this side anymore. You know, that's the big thing, is it doesn't matter to me what they do. Again, look at this, we are starting to destroy these, uh, these, get them out of our way, which is what we want to see, and we just want to see some emission, right? That is the big call. Uh, so if we can get some emitters over here, that is our key. We just get one, like, right in here, just to turn on. So, fingers crossed. Just get all the spores to land right there. Turn on this emitter. Now, one thing to note as well is that pylon is the entire connection to this side of the map. Wow, I'm surprised it didn't turn it on. I, I figured that would have turned it on. Oh, that really sucks. Like, the whole goal was that to turn it on, and then we'd at least have an emitter over here. Uh, but this side of the map now has no energy, which means these no longer have energy. Which means, basically, this entire lane is just going to slowly fill. Now, we are losing ground substantially. But again, eh, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Again, look at this. Every time this does crop up every now and then, it actually cuts off all the power to all of these. So, you know, I'm quite okay with that. Uh, I do just want this emitter to turn on. I'm surprised it hasn't. Come on, emitter. You can do it. You're the best. I love you. You know, look at you. You're, you're doing so good. Just, I am amazed that is not activating. Um, all right. Well, I guess we need to, to shift our plan a little bit. Uh, we will do all most of them over there, but we're going to do just a couple in, like, over here, right? Just get them out of the way. I mean, we could destroy basically everything slowly and surely. Uh, oh, the emitter is on. Oh, finally, 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 the emitter is on. Woo! That's what we wanted to see. Perfect. So now I'm going to take out these three. We're going to toss down a lord just to save our emitter, like, over here. Fingers crossed that should... Oh, jeez. Over here? Will you turn on? Over here? I just want one lord to turn on. Now, unfortunately, all the creep is too low. Um, but they, they will get there now. Now they will get there. We do have plenty of things on our side. So, we are taking out the essentially the world, which is good. Uh, we will get one lord. All I want is one lord that isn't in the emitter. 
which I guess we can do with spores at this point. So that is what we should use our spores for. So I'm going to toss the spores like over here. We're going to put a lure over here, which should help our emitter substantially. And then we can basically take out the space. We take out the space, everything else, of course, will fall afterwards. It's kind of a beautiful combination. Uh, can you turn on? No. Destroy that. Uh, can you turn on? Yes. Okay, that will save that area. Uh, that'll be pretty nice. And a lure over here. That turns on. Beautiful. Now that's turned on. So if anything is over here, it's going to be shooting that lure. If anything is over here, it's going to be shooting that lure. And lures are going to do the work for us now. So now we've established our control, so to speak, right? We can actually, look at this, we can even increase our creep generation over here. Now these do have plenty of energy coming, so that's a bit of a shame. Uh, but you know what? I don't want them to have plenty of energy coming, of course. So if we do something like this, and this, and this... And then just a couple just to disrupt them, like, I don't know, over here and over here, just to d make a nice little wall of creep, destroy their, uh, destroy their energy, then we will, if not, if not slow, quickly, we will slowly get rid of all of the energy. Look at that. See, this is already landing. This is going down. We're basically taking this base out, which is, which is beautiful. You know, again, we're just here to take over the world. That's all. And just a little thing. Just take it over, you know? I just don't want them to have it. And you can see, I mean, look, all of the things are already falling. Bazinga, we haven't done it. That is all we want to see. Apparently this reactor... Boom! Oh, that reactor, when it dies, destroys uh, all creep around it. Did not know that. Did not know that. Uh, but perfectly fine. I, I think we're perfectly fine there. Um, and there we go. This is dying. This will just slowly die off. No actual worries to us. So I'm going to keep one emitter over here. And that's all I care about. You know, I'm, I'm basically done with the side. We, we killed off this side. You know, it was a success. I feel pretty good about it. Uh, if we want, we can do some just toying with them. And I think we do. We, of course, you always want to toy. So we will toss down a couple of spores over here just to get rid of these. Well, this should actually die just to creep plum, uh, getting in. So that feels pretty good for us. This side, I mean, look at this side is doing great. All oh, this is filled in. It's it's just beautiful. It is just beautiful for us. Uh, the creep has landed up top, which is glorious as well. Again, that's just going to flow in because there's a tiny little hole right there. So that's ours as well. So I think, I think that is the side completed. Uh, we can as well just sort of take out these because why not if they're there. So, again, we're going to do that. We have seven power. Seven whole power. That's a good amount of power. Now, what do we want? <coughs> you know what we want. We want launchers. That's right. Uh, unfortunately, from here... Oh, wow. The back one's turned on before the front one's. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, unfortunately for us, uh, we're kind of in a in a state right now. You know, we're not we're not in the best of states. We're in, a, we're in an okay state. Um, but we're gonna start taking out their power, because, you know what, more power for us, or against us, is bad. So, we take out their power, it's gonna do some good things for us. More power we have against them, the better. Uh, this is, these haven't landed yet, and I do want them to land. So, they do have plenty of red on, so I'm also doing this just to drain their red on, so to speak. You know, get some red on taken out. Uh, actually, if we want to drain their red on, we probably should just go over here, turn off their shields... Oh, wait, I just selected all. Okay, good. I mostly only move the spores. Good. So we can take out their shields. That's just a big red on drain. And we just want to get that gone. As you can see, it's draining pretty quick. It's, all, it's basically already gone. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I wish I could make a squad of these launchers or something like that. That would be so, so nice. Uh, once we convert everything to the to blobs and things, it'll just be that much better for us. But, you know, for now, uh, we cannot do that. So let's uh, just make sure we get some more of these sorted out. Uh, as you can see, boom, there is all of their red eye. Nice, nice, nice. And let's let the blob waves begin. So we're going to go with blobs. We're going to go with location. Fingers crossed that these swap. They did, thankfully. And now... Now is the time where we need to decide what we want to do, right? We can... They are still generating red on, because these little things generate red on. Um, but I think if we start working on this, it will not only destroy a large number of these solar panels, 
but it will also get rid of the connection to down here, which will be a nice little win, you know? Not perfect, but a nice little win. This is holding uh, this everything at bay. Most of their ships are over here dealing with that. I mean, good on them, right? Uh, and I think there's still a Mortair over here, isn't there? Uh, where are you, Mortair? Ugh, I'm so bad at finding these things. Oh, let's see how the damage is doing. Look, some, some more solar panels going down, which is grand. Um, and they are sniping us right now. Oop, there it is. There's the Mortar Lord. Get out of here, Mortar Lord. We don't care about you. Uh, well, we do care about you, but, you know, you did your job. So, success for you. Um, oh, yeah, good. Just a bit more emission towards the front line. There we go. See, as you notice, this is now all cut off. This is now all cut off doesn't really matter that much to us right now uh but realistically it, it does some good stuff you know it gets rid of a sniper we can now sort of focus on this we can start taking out all of their solar panels and i think that's what we really 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 want to do um the more solar panels that are gone the better for us of course i mean look at them they're just really focused on that lore that lore is is taking a beat Oof, feel real bad for that lore but that's okay again the more solar panels, they're down to, what, uh, 14 energy generation? Oh my, oh my, and look at that. All the solar panels are just going down. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. We've, you know, we've we've done a pretty good job of systematically dismantling them. Um, and I think we want to get rid of these snipers. We could, again, we could literally just go for the base right now. Uh, but you know what? We have, we have snipers in our way. We have blobs. Let's just make sure it's handled, right? Now, of course, they are, they do have this, but look at their deficit, 300 energy deficit. Oh, that really sucks for them. Um, now, we did have some blobs blow up over here, because that's where they were last set. You know, that's okay. Um, but look at this, they are, oh, they just don't have the sniper and the ability to keep the snipers coming. Oh, it's painful. It is so painful right now. Uh, they did, you know, the sniper survived, but because there were buildings in the way, of course. So, there's some red on supply gone. Ooh, that is sniper number one gone. Ooh, sniper number two as well. Oh my, oh my, that is essentially the death knell. I mean, they have two snipers gone. Just from their base. They have no sniping ability at their base. And I think it's this time where we do take out their base. Uh, the main reason for it is because I do know... They can hold this even with low energy because all the ships resupply here and they just get energy too fast, unfortunately. With the resupplying that they're going to do, uh, they can basically hold this indefinitely from creep, without crimson at least. Uh, but without snipers and without the ability to really, look at how slow this is building. Look, it's still at one pip. Oh, man. Oh, there really isn't too much they can do. So if we take out their base right here, it's going to feel pretty, pretty good, if you ask me. So that is... We have taken out Virtue themselves. Ooh, done and done. And you know what? With that in mind, all of these launchers just go to structures. Just have fun. Just have fun, my blobby friends. Ooh, I guess when the base goes away, so do the uh, airships. So very, very cool. Uh, we will take over the world, and that will be that. Again, we took over we took over what we wanted to in the beginning. You know, we probably could have just gone with this blob strap much earlier, because there's not that many snipers over there. Um, so I feel I feel pretty good about this. And yeah, they, they still have a little bit of fight in them, but not much left. So the blobs should be spreading out. They should take over the world. Fingers crossed they don't just go, like, over, over there. I mean, there's going to be a couple that go over there, unfortunately. Uh, but that's okay. Again, the blobs are taking the things out. The creep is building up. Uh, there we go. They are spreading out to different things. Boom, boom, boom. I just want, I just want. Just times four. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. There we go. Everything except for. Oh wait, we need, we need you to be a spore, at a location, right there. I almost completely forgot about the most important thing which is dismantling all of their totems. Uh, apparently we activated the totems. Somehow. Don't know how. But bazinga, bazanga, we have done it. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Feels... 
feels pretty good. I feel I feel pretty happy with that. Uh, the creep has taken over the world. Let us see how we did. What do we do? 26 minutes and 59 seconds. So I guess uh, if you act, if you do this optional objective, then that is the hard mode. So uh, for hard mode, how did we do? 20 minutes there. So you know, definitely faster. We could have started blobbing faster. But you know what? Definitely a whole lot longer. So, three minutes. Wow. That, that's impressive. Um, yeah, I don't even know how... I mean, I guess you could really just start blobbing from the from the get-go. You probably have enough power. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. But there we go. I mean, maybe it's spores. Maybe it was something else. Maybe it was a mix of skimmers and spores. I don't know. But, yeah, there we go. That is pack interference fix. Actually, I'm surprised at three minutes. Did the message come at three minutes? That might be it. Maybe with the message, you have everything go for the base when there's that stun. So you can sort of uh, get a head start, get all the snipers down. Ah, clever, clever, clever. So there we go, though. Pack interference fixed from Virtu. A lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.